Dear uh, Director General, uh, Excellencies, distinguished guests, Mesdames, Messieurs les parlementaires, uh, ladies and gentlemen, chers compatriotes, dear friends of France, I'm delighted and honored to be speaking to you on our national day. The context in which I do so is a special one. For all of us, it's the first time we've come together in three years when we couldn't celebrate the 14th July because of the pandemic in the usual format. And for me, personally, because I'm speaking to you as chargé d'affaires with Ambassador Colonna having left in May to take up her ministerial post. Oh, I'm sorry, telephone is buzzing. <laughs> Excuse me for a second. Oui, Madame la Ministre. <laughs> Entendu, je le fais. So I'm pleased to read also a message of Minister Colonna. She asked me right now to do so. <laughs> Director General, colleagues, friends. Because of my appointment to the French government by the President and Prime Minister, I was unfortunately unable to say goodbye to each of you in the proper, friendly way I would have liked. So today, I want to greet you all on this glorious occasion of our National Day. My thoughts are with you, and I'm pleased to be joining you in spirit to celebrate Franco-British friendship. This friendship is long-standing, the United Kingdom's decision in 2016 to leave the European Union is perfectly respectable, like any choice expressed democratically, but just as respectable are the partners with which a treaty has been signed. You know how strongly I believe in Europe. It's by continuing their European path linked to history, geography, and the sharing of their common values that the UK and France will move forward. Happy 14th of July, and enjoy the celebration, Catherine Colonna. Voilà. So, after this interruption, uh, <laughs> as the minister said, there have been plenty of opportunities over the past months to showcase the deep-rooted relations between France and the UK. Among other things, I'm thinking of the way in which France, on President Macron's initiative, was keen to be involved in Her Majesty the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations. The Queen was kind enough to accept the gift of the horse, a Garde Républicaine standard bearer, which is now destined to serve the crown following its service to the French Republic. France was also involved in the Queen's Green Canopy project, which Her Majesty wanted to develop throughout the UK, an avenue of trees, 70 for each year of her reign, will be planted in the autumn at the British Normandy Memorial of Vert sur Mer. And on a more modest scale, an apple tree from Normandy was planted right here in the garden on my left side at the end of the, uh, the property by the ambassador on the 6th of February this year, the day which marks the Queen's accession to the throne. Through Her Majesty, we paid tribute to the permanence and solidity of the Franco-British alliance across time. In spite of short-lived disagreements, we've always been able to come together when our core common values have been at stake. This is true in the context of the war in Ukraine where our countries have shown solidarity towards Ukrainians who are being subject to an unacceptable war of aggression. We've also found common grounds on global issues, particularly the climate challenge, COP26, which was held in Glasgow under Britain's presidency and in which President Macron took part, enjoyed the unreserved support of France which was always mindful that we would be raising our ambitions in this sphere. Our strategic cooperation, particularly on defense, 
remains very close as befits two military powers which share so many interests. On the economic front, we remain major partners in terms of trade, investment and jobs. One figure, in 2021, trade in goods and services between France and the UK amounted to more than 60 billion pounds. But going beyond the figures, we are in agreement on many economic issues, energy, ecolo ecological transitions. We only need to think about our cooperation in the civil nuclear sector and more generally the major technological challenges ahead. These fields and the determination of our businesses to continue developing cross-trade and investment show how essential for every one of us the Franco-British economic relationship is today and it will remain so. Our ties with the whole UK nation, both its representatives and its civil society, are strong. From London and Edinburgh, with the help of the network of alliances of the alliance of the ally, pardon, of the Alliance Française <laughs> throughout the country, the Institut Français will continue playing its full role in projecting French culture and creativity as well as encouraging exchanges and mobility, which are so essential. In this way, we enable British students to go and study in France, thanks to the Etudes en France scheme, and we support Franco-British research cooperation projects with targeted finance. And I'm also thinking about our expatriate community, which is both a stakeholder and an asset in this bilateral relationship. Chers compatriotes, votre dynamisme et votre diversité sont les évidents relais du rayonnement de la France au Royaume-Uni. Vous savez pouvoir compter sur le soutien et la disponibilité de notre réseau, de nos consulats généraux à Londres et à Édimbourg et de nos consuls honoraires pour vous assister en tant que de besoin. Tout au long des épreuves qu'ont constitué la question des droits des citoyens européens après le Brexit, ou les perturbations liées à la pandémie, notre réseau consulaire a eu à cœur de vous accompagner. La manière appréciée par tous dont se sont déroulées les dernières élections présidentielles et législatives témoigne de l'engagement et du professionnalisme de nos agents que je tiens ici à saluer. Vous êtes nombreux parmi les invités aujourd'hui à vous être portés volontaires pour nous aider à relever cet cette, ce travail euh, important électoral. À travers vous, je souhaite remercier les centaines de compatriotes qui se sont mobilisés et sans qui notre dispositif n'aurait pas pu fonctionner. Et je remercie également le député Holroyd et le sénateur Kadik qui nous font l'amitié de se tenir à nos côtés, à vos côtés, pour relayer et répondre aux attentes et aux aspirations de la communauté française du Royaume-Uni. As you can see, many factors prompt us to take action. I mentioned the war in Ukraine, which, as it drags on, is shaking up, maybe in a lasting way, our joint bilateral security interest. Twists and turns can happen, and may be linked to adapting to an unprecedented situation, that of a new modus operandi with a partner with whom we travel together within the European Union for more than 40 years. But those twists and turns must not make us forget our bilateral fundamentals, which are sound and solid. Our two countries will be working hard on strengthening them in the next few months. In the spirit of the 1904 Entente Cordiale, in the spirit of our shared struggle in the two world wars, France will never forget how the United Kingdom enabled it to organize its resistance from 1940 onwards. In the subsequent world crisis, in the implementation of the treaties of Lancaster House of 2010, France and the UK will continue to work for a fair, safer, more balanced world which respects human rights and the rule of law. It's this ambition for the coming months which I would like to share with you all. 
On our national day, I'm sure we'll all contribute collectively to the dynamism of our relations and to affirming our common values. May I say on this 14th of July that they are not far removed from the values on which France's motto is based, liberté, égalité, fraternité. Pour finir, je remercie nos partenaires financiers qui ont bien voulu nous aider à organiser cette réception dans, dans ce format, format que nous fêtons euh, traditionnel. Et je remercie aussi, bien sûr, nos partenaires gastronomiques qui vous feront découvrir leur succulente spécialité. Je remercie tout le personnel de la résidence qui s'est mobilisé tellement pour organiser cette belle fête. Et enfin, je remercie tout le personnel de notre ambassade qui reste totalement engagé à l'appui de l'excellence de la coopération franco-britannique. Vive l'amitié la, franco-britannique, vive le Royaume-Uni, vive la France. Je vous remercie.